around this sphere of intellectual thought, this is an important talking point. The American question, or the question of America. What do we do with it? And it seems that people either want to completely get rid of the concept of America, engage in partition and divide, divide America into smaller pieces, or do whatever it is with that. But it seems obvious that no one in our sphere likes America how it is now or how it was traditionally. There seems to be a desire to create your own canvas of what America should be. And I rarely see this with any other place in the world. With Europe, they might want to go back to an older frame of Europe, insert which period, medieval Europe, or they'll have some form of their world idealism. But it's always of America, as opposed to any other continent, or not even continent, just an amalgamation of people in a geopolitical standpoint. It's always America that gets this weird treatment. Part of it is that the United States has, it's not its own people yet. It hasn't given birth to a real American. That's why there's still stuff like Italian American, Puerto Rican American, Irish American, and Anglo Saxon American, just, and of course, Swahili American, Jamaican American, just, there is no American people. And it's almost become a bit of a pan European place for a certain idealists. Yet you have guys like fringe elements that they basically thought, all right, there's going to be the white nationalist America, the mestizo nationalist America. Let's think about that for a second. Do mestizos want their own sort of nation or form of nationalism? No, they don't. They just want to burn shit. At least that's what it seems to me. They might complain about how certain parts of the land were theirs, yet they're, without a doubt, a mixed bag. They're a confused people. They don't have the genetic makeup of an Amerindian, and it shows in just how fucked their way of thinking is. Everything just seems to be schadenfreude, envy, misery, being tormented, and there's not a lot of good that comes with them. And they certainly don't want their own nation. Black nationalism? Most black nationalists aren't even nationalists. They're tribalists that steal ancient white civilizations and write it off as their own and accuse whites of doing it. That's what they are. In many ways, they're just like the Occupy or Occupussy crowd in that they're confused anti-Semites that really don't even get it. And then you ha might have a Sebastian E. Ronin who says, fuck America, Merkins are stupid, they're all degenerates, they think they're this and that, but they're not. 
that certainly may be the case, yet his ideas on what to do about it certainly they're strange. And it seems that America is just a walking pile of it's a walking science experiment to everybody. That's what it's always been. No matter what sphere of intellectual thought you are, it seems like it's your intellectual canvas to do whatever the fuck you want. And that's why for a place like America, it's important to take a very practical method of dealing with it. It's important to be as practical as possible. And that can be a problem for me because when I give a practical answer, people expect a non-practical answer. When I give a non-practical answer, people expect a practical answer. It's always a mixed bag with me. So right now I might give something like national democracy and people will think, oh, that's terrible, which it is. Or I might go for something like, hmm, the sort of fascism that Japan has. But of course, having a prime minister and all these elements, that's gonna attract some negativity. And if I, instead of going the spring direction, try and create a summer direction where I try to make us a Western Imperium, a pan European empire people are going to applaud that but the guys that want the practical answer they're going to be pissed too and i can't blame them because what we need is practicalism we need pragmatism the pragmaticism i forgot how to i always write the word yeah, i never spoke it we need something practical, we need something pragmatic. That's what we need. And then we can focus on the idealism, what should happen. But for now, people need to stop going the this is my dream project route, the my little America direction where partition is magic. That needs to stop, or we're becoming the holy American empire. That's magic, not. There needs to be a good deal of critical thought, and there also needs to be some modicum of common sense, which I'm not seeing a lot of, and I've never seen that much of it. And it's really hard to make a common sense solution since this isn't a common sense problem. The land we're living in geopolitically is oversaturated with a bunch of different problems and un unhealthy mindset. We're too political and our political thought is just off the grid, strange. Some of the ideologies that come from here aren't moderate enough. They're always radical and short-sighted, which is perfect for an Aspie, yet it's of negative consequence to everyone else. And we need to look for the civilization in mind, not just trying to make this as vacuous as possible, which... We're seeing the consequences of that right now. Anyways, Mr. Rock is seven. You can all go to hell.